as a beat on one of the torrent beaters, so they now have a set of defense with control. While Lights walks up with the quad ball. Lights has got Milo number nine behind with the ball right now. Looks like they're running more of a trees defense instead of a man. Oh, Lights makes a shot, but is handedly beat before by two different beaters. I feel like they could work on their communication, but. All right, number three, Trenton Pascaro. Has also played quad ball for UT. Played less than a year, but he has shown himself to be very good. Has the bludger right now. He's a super fun person as a beater to play against. And he's defending that quaffle from light so that his team is able to recover it and wait for Timo to get back in. Vargas on Torrent, number seven, Katie. She is a co-captain and a beater. Oh, we have our first score of the day. By Colorado Torrent, Light's looking for a quick rebound. I am not sure who shot that. Okay, yeah, I think that's it sounds like uh, 31 at Colorado Torrent, Declan Palmer from Mile High, they are the one who shot that goal. So that is pretty cool. First goal of the day. Number 11, Dokos on Northern Lights has the quad ball right now. That's Chris. Jake Malloy and Gabby running behind hoops with Gabe running a solid point defense as a keeper. We've got a beater kerfuffle happening over here. Oh, and another shot after B. Oh, now number seven on lights is beat. And Gabe recovers the quad ball. Katie walking up with the bludger right now. Marcus, back up! All right, Colorado Torrent has a few new players in. Number 41, Abby Hagardy, former Richmond Spiders player. All right, she has the quad ball. They are not able to finish. And Duran helps Northern Lights recover that quad ball possession. This is a good high pressure from number 23, Marcus, on Colorado Torrent, but smartly slows it down before making any sprint to the hoops while Northern Lights has control. Chasers work with Katie. Looks like Marcus is now behind hoops with Timo walking up a quad ball. 650! Gabe Livio behind hoops. Nichols on Northern Lights locking it down. Jake Malloy looking for a fast offense, but Colorado Torrance still has budgers. is able to block it. That is number 41 with that block on Colorado Torrent. Abby Hagerty. Hey, Beater is being challenged on the sidelines. Katie Vargas was able to take that waffle from Nichols on Northern Lights. Take the bludger shine. Timo passing around with a high pressure for number seven on lights. Up high. Oh, help pressure from Nichols on lights. Torrent still has two beaters, though, so they're able to avoid a fast break. Oh, number 10 beat with the quad ball in the middle. That fast break on beater control was quite an interesting play. Lights had a lot of players beat out on that, so hopefully they can run and get back in in time. New beaters in for Colorado Torrent. We've got number 21, Sarah Brewer. Has been playing seven years, played Mizzou in college. And I'm trying to see who that other beater is. Ah, Kayla Manis. Oh, 
Northern Lights, once again, looks like they're trying to rush an offense, but Marcus, number 23 on Torrent, will not allow that. Gives his team some time much needed time minute. to set up their defense. Luke Zach from TCQC walking the quad ball up for Northern Lights while Katie Mendoza and Duran Allison look for an opportunity to take those bludgers away from Torrent, who has handedly had control for most of this game. Some great defense from the keeper, number 15 on Torrent, Alex Martinez. It's a pass to Timo behind hoops, pass to Shirley Liu behind hoops with Nate Unaral very close by. Passes back in the middle to Luke Zach, number seven, but he is pretty much alone. And it could be a reset, but Nate Unral stops it at the midline. As Jess just said, reset, not you. And now eight, the other seven, beater and Shirley six, have been able to get back in. Five, four, three, two. Duran Allison avoids a beat. Last possession. Beat. Was that not a goal for lights? It was. It was. Oh, okay. No, then lights scored. Who scored? Number 18, Nate Unral scores for Northern Lights. At 10 minutes, we're going to take a heat break because it is super sunny and hot today. Katie Mendoza pressuring Marcus way behind hoops, which leaves Duran to deal with Timo up high but doesn't make the beat. And Marcus scores. Water break. Kaylee Mendoza was right to pressure Marcus behind hoops, but unfortunately didn't finish that beat, and Marcus was able to score. Yeah, so, this is quite a fun game. I think these two teams are like one of the most evenly matched here today, and they had all day yesterday to practice with each other, so we're seeing a lot more cohesion today. I think Northern Lights is rushing their offense a bit much. Um, Colorado Torrent has been able to recover blood control on almost every play, um, which is great for them. I think they're Beaters are definitely out beating, which is interesting. Lights has a lot of individually skilled beaters, but I think as a team, uh, they have not mastered the sort of uh, cohesion and communication that they need. It is so it's, it's Kaylee. It's oh, Mendoza. okay. All right, the game restarts. Northern Lights has possession of the quad ball, and Colorado Torrent. Oh, no, Northern Lights is actually walking up with control with Mendoza and Allison. Beater number 21, Sarah Brewer on Torrent, putting a lot of pressure on Kaylee right now, making it very difficult for her to get around. Looks like after a duel, number 17, Manis on Colorado Torrent is clear, while Duran Allison is beat. She needs to run back from the hoops. It's gonna be a yellow card for 75 on Colorado Torrent for contact from behind. Chasers, hands up. Don't step out. Caleb, that's you. 
Play restarts. Nate Uniral makes a pass back to no one in the middle, but is able to prevent and using a reset up. Got Marcus and Timo on hoops. Also, Pegardi, number 41, Abby. Wow, and Timo is able to intercept that pass from Nate to Jade. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm right in front of you. Now they're both running back. Uh, uh, Okay. Yeah, sorry, I was just trying to avoid the cameras. Sarah Brewer has a bludger and Ethan Bogart subbing in. Colorado Torrent walking with control. Marcus in possession of the quad ball. Abby going behind hoops looking for that pass with help from her beater right there. Duran takes a bead on 21. It's clear. We've got some people calling it beat before, some people calling it good. So, Ref Me is gonna decide if that was beat before or not. They blew it right as the viewer out. Wait, has it been a minute? It's over. Yeah. Okay. No, it's been a minute. Okay. Thank you. Lane, do you know how to throw this That's not my camera. I don't know what it is. 12 minutes and 4 seconds. 12 minutes. Paley! Paley, come set up your camera. Turn it on by pressing this button in the press and holding it. And then um, the button on the top to start it. It was 16, Tyler Beatty on Colorado Torrent is being called beat before. Looks like Abby on Torrent is going to be able to pick up this quad ball right now. Hopefully turn around, but she's got no chasers with her right now. She has Marcus if she wants to push a reset. She is going to run that reset. Is beat. Marcus now has the bludger. Kayla Mendoza is able to cover a bludger, so now Marcus is alone going against control. Gets beat out, drops the quad ball. No, no, Alex Marcus is running in for a score. No good. Stoppage once again, and it looks like he's a bit angry on the ground. Possibly hurt. Hopefully is fine. Definitely had just gotten back in from that card, so was looking to go super hard and pushed a goal that might not have been physically okay for him so hopefully he's okay don't point it don't point it you're just pointing it yeah we're going to like yeah colorado you'll need uh you'll need to so Flip your headband, Gabe, though. You're green, and Marcus is already green. Tables commentating on the game happening across the pitch. Um, it is Avalanche versus Heat Wave. Heat Wave is up 11 to 7 on Avalanche, which is interesting because Avalanche is one of the stronger teams here. Um, they lost to San Francisco Fog yesterday, but beat LA Aftershock. So definitely one of the top three teams here at this tournament. So it's interesting. Maybe Heat Wave has come back with some renewed energy today. 
um, or possibly Utah's decided they don't need to win this game. So it's cool to see Heat Wave doing so well. They've got 10 ASU players on their team. That's the most college players of any team in this WCQ league. And I think it's really helping them to build up their skills going into next USQ season. It's funny, now I'm commentating on the other pitch because I think we're gonna take a water break for an injury. Everyone has run away from the pitch to go find shade. It is extremely hot. So I was saying to Tommy a second ago, probably feels like 95. <laughs> Wow, Heat Wave just scored again on the other pitch thanks to Mason's extreme physicality and number 15's great positioning. Forget number 15's name, but she's one of the star chasers on ASU. walk off the pitch. Players are now going to go back to their brooms with an injury sub. Kip is going to be in for the injured player. Uh, there has not been any call on the play right now. Wait for... Looks like HR's call is going to be that the goal was not good by Colorado Torrent. So this remains a pretty low scoring game at 12 minutes being... 2-1 lights. One of the other new WCQ rules is that if there is an injury substitution, the other team may sub someone of the same position just to not cause an unfair advantage by having fresh legs on the play. So it looks like there's going to be a call on the play. Call is going to be on Nate Unrau on lights. Not sure what it is for yet. What's the card for? Illegal contact? Is it an illegal contact card? Ah, so just a legal contact card on Nate Unrau. It's like Torn is continuing to make sure that everything on this play is going to happen fairly. I was never Abby Hagerty has the looks like it's starting with the quad ball right now. Her other Abby, player, o'clock. Kip Vila, is off brim. Play resumes. Abby makes a shot. It goes just over the middle hoop, and then she is beat from behind by Kaylee Mendoza. 